What's up, buddy? How's it going, man? What's up? So they asked me to bring somebody in here to talk about just like maybe like some of the impact that uh, somebody's had on me as far as ATO goes and as far as life goes. Uh, so I decided to bring you in after I dropped. Didn't really talk to you. Talked to some other guys. Um, then I came back and I really like saw like a change. Like you had taken over um, the recruitment chair position just as all our pledge class had to take over those big, or my first pledge class, your pledge class had to take over those positions. And uh, it was just like a really crazy thing to come back and see all my pledge brothers taking over these huge positions and you kind of leading the charge, like bringing all of us in the fall 18, as well as what you've done outside of that. Um, and I just have a lot of respect for you for that. Well, I'm absolutely humbled. I didn't expect this to happen. And you could have had that scripted and I wouldn't know that sounded absolutely great. Uh, I really appreciate all those things, Nick. Um, you know, it's kind of funny. I remember whenever you were, whenever you dropped originally in fall 17, it was just, that was like the bummer of the pledge class. Everybody hated that. And then come next spring, I think you had been hanging out with Eston a little bit and Eston was telling me over the summer that you were thinking about coming back. So naturally me having common sense, the first thing I did was reach out to you and bring you back. And I think uh, really our relationship kind of rebuilt um, whenever you pledged again, because the good thing about having you in the fall 18 pledge class was that you had more experience with ATO than anyone in that class. So really whenever you know you were talking to me or Garrett or Eston, it wasn't like we were talking to Pledge Nick. It was like we were talking to Nick, who was our Pledge brother, who was supposed to be initiated with us, but it just didn't work out that way. What's important is that it did work out in the end, that you did get initiated. I know if I ever need like an honest opinion about anything I do, and anything like during my presidency, anything during the med, whatever I'm doing, I know I can come to you because you'll give me like the honest answer of what you think. I think that you kind of doubt yourself whenever it comes to the way you speak in chapter. I think you're extremely well spoken. Everything you say um, has a point. Um, it all makes sense, and I look forward to being that uh, kind of brutally honest voice if you need it sometimes. Oh, we need it. I appreciate you, brother. Yeah. Love you, brother. Love you, love and respect. Love and respect.